Guys, happy Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, a day to mark the victory of the Mexican army in 1862 over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. Cinco de Mayo celebrations are getting more popular in the U.S., of course, and even here in the Cape Fear. And one way to celebrate is to make traditional Mexican dishes, and guacamole is a favorite healthy dip for chips. Yeah, it's basically salsa with some avocado thrown in. You tried it on your honeymoon. Yeah. You said it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually loaded with heart-healthy, unsaturated fats from these avocados. We've got all the ingredients here. I'm going to show you guys right. how to cut open an avocado. It's super easy and fun. It's a good parlor trick, so when you do this, you cut it along the outside edge. You can twist it or not. Put the pit in there. That's what keeps it from getting all yucky and brown. Yeah. And then you take your knife and then you score it like this, crossways like a checkerboard. And so when you squeeze it, it's super easy and it just comes right out. You don't right have to out. scoop it. Be careful because you don't want some of the pit. So we're going to have Matt do this okay. while Ramel kind of tosses in some of the other See ingredients. And it. we have this um, information on our website right now. So you guys. Um, can, there you go, you can do it at yeah. home. And so one of the first things we put in is onions. A lot of people like white onions. We use red onions at my house. So we will, I'm gonna step back and let you guys kind of do this. Yeah. Talk us through so it. You just pop in as much as you want of that. Okay. I say like a couple of tablespoons. That's what that is right there. So I can dump the whole thing? Dump the whole thing okay. in while Matt's scoring his avocado. Yeah. And then the next thing is cilantro. And some people say it smells or tastes like soap, but it's fabulous. I love the way it smells. Yes, it smells good. That's one of those yeah. things you get it at the uh, store and it doesn't smell good until you pull it. And then mm -hmm. you can really smell yeah. it on your fingers. So you can pop that in as much cilantro as you want. Okay. Just throw it in, and we've got some extra if you guys think it's going to be good. You can you can feel free to dump because he's going to have a lot of avocados right, in right. there. I didn't want to load it up too much. At you want you going to take it? Okay. Yeah. And then the next thing is jalapenos, and I put poblanos and jalapenos in mine. This is just jalapeno because I didn't know how hot you guys wanted to have it. That's hey, I like can handle small. my heat. Okay. I'm well just, then, dump it in. I'm just Pop saying. it. Pop it in, and then some people don't put tomatoes in their guacamole, but I like to. So, pop them in. And that is like a small tomato okay. dice. And you have to squeeze all the juice out of it. And that's the last thing you want to put in because it gets really juicy and you don't want it to have watery guac. And then you squeeze the juice of up to two limes for this size. This is going to feed about, I don't know, a crowd. And you have to taste it as you go. All the measurements are kind of, you know, squishy, just depending on what you like as a family. So we're squishing all this stuff together. All right. And then Ramel, we're gonna have you start to smash because that's the fun part. And if that you have kids at home, part. this is a great one. You just sort of smash. You don't want to smash it too much because you want to have a little okay. bit of chunk. And you know, everybody likes a little chunk. And again, keep the pit in there and that's what keeps it from turning brown. See, it's looking really pretty. We got a little bit more of the avocado to go in. We're gonna squeeze some limes and then you add a little bit of salt and pepper, cayenne and garlic to taste. And we're going to try this after the break, right? right. Yeah. And the recipe is on our website. We're coming right back. A couple takeaways. I need you to come to my house every time I need to cut avocados. Hey, <laughs> you're really you're good you're at it. Cover now. I'm going to have you no excuse at home it. while I, I yeah, can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Ramel's so into this. You were yeah. like seriously trying. You guys want to try your concoction? Absolutely. Sure. All right, here we go. Let's see. We added cayenne pepper toward the end. We had a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt. And let's see. Oh, nice big chunks too. Really good. Oh. I think it's a hit, guys. Nice work. Solid. Good job. And I'll we have it. our mocha hete, and this is actually from my We got enough to feed an army here. Yeah, we sure Happy do. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Good Morning Carolina. Have a We're great Friday, everybody.